video should be up on the cooking channel. Maybe it'll go up on the cooking channel. And it'll just be a free release because it's who gives a shit. Anyway, Zeos has bought the top recommended pan from America's mm -hmm. Test Kitchen. Look at that. Carbon steel. Now, carbon steel is what's used in most kitchens, like commercial kitchens. Because you can just, you know, like smash it on the floor and not worry about it. Whereas cast iron, while excellent for cooking, if you season it right and take care of it, you can't smash it on the floor, it might crack. So this is a little bit lighter, and I'm saying a little bit because that is exactly that thick. This one is, I'll link to this one in the description. I forgot the name, it's very French. This is very French. This is a master made in France. 200 years, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm going to season it. We're going to see a seasoning video. You're going to learn how to season it. Especially, this is specific to this, and they said they used it, so I'm going to use it. There's a protective coating on this. Basically, if you're going to season this pan, go get two potatoes. Go walk across the street and go butch up. Hey, I need two potatoes. I love how the sticker like stayed on there in the handle. So we're going to get all that off. And you could use a violent scrubby brush. You know, I have a nice Bravil right there, stainless steel. But uh, Gordon Ramsay doesn't use a nice Bravil. Gordon Ramsay just goes and whips one of these bitches out. He could smash it in his kitchen sink. Who cares? All right. I'm not sure if I should be cleaning the bottom off. Warm, soapy water is what they recommend. I also hope this camera lasts for a while. I just did not even review. Get everything nice and wet. Now, this is not going to be this color when we're done. When you take cast iron and you season cast iron, it just gets blacker. It goes from already black to blacker. Whereas this is basically silver and looks great. This is like, mmm, that looks fucking nice. That gun metal, like that is legit gun metal. Great, because this is probably the metal they make guns out of. Uh, this is going to turn all sorts of blue-brown. Did I get all the coating off of it? I can't. Some scratches in it, maybe? I don't think they wanted to use steel wool, but I'm going to use this ugly son of a bitch. Just in case. And now what we have to do is just like cast iron. Cast iron, you basically, you oil it, you put it in the oven, you bake it for a while, and you're done. The procedure for this is slightly different. We wash with soapy water. Then we take the skins of two potatoes. So I went out and bought these two, these two potatoes, and I'm not going to clean them. Actually, should I clean them? Yeah, I probably should clean them. Just, just because they're covered in, like... Bug fecal matter. Fecal bug matter. We're gonna skin them. How long has it been since I peeled a potato? Get off of there, you bitch. Get away from her, you bitch. It's very French to ask you to peel two potatoes to season your thing. Now we're gonna keep these potatoes because I'll do something with them, but you're supposed to throw the skins away when we're done. Maybe we won't do that either. Uh, where are you going? Needs a place to rest. One potato. I could obviously have paused and just, just said, or just said, skin two potatoes. That's not a Z reviews. That's not a Z cooks. That's not nothing. In fact, maybe I'll release this on all, all the channels. I don't want to, I don't want to bother the big channel. I feel like it's going to remove more subscribers and add. They hated when I put like the butter battles and stuff on there. Well, they didn't hate it, but fuck you, Zeos. You gotta be prepared for shit like that. Is that two skinned? That's two potatoes worth of skin? I think it is. Off the top. Okay. We also need, and I'm going to measure it, even though it doesn't really need to be measured. Fuck. All right, well, we need a third of a, two thirds of a cup of uh, coarse salt. And I said, fuck, this is the old coarse salt I have. That'll have to do. And I'm just gonna throw it in here. And now we need, we'll oh, have peanut oil. Actually, I'm gonna get the peanut oil, Chewbacca. Oh, I'm gonna peanut oil. 
You could use any cooking oil, but I bought recently peanut oil. And my sister's like, my sister M is like, it's gonna kill me if I ever come over to your place. Whoa! But uh, honestly, I've looked up so many places, and basically, peanut oil is refined enough that it doesn't matter. And a little extra splish. And what we're gonna do is, I would put this on here, but I know what's gonna happen. Number one, my stove, as insane as my stove is, it doesn't really get to the part where I'm like feeling like it's gonna be doing its business. So we're gonna take this out to the back, onto the barbecue. Oh, look at that. It already looks like it's it's doing business. Can you imagine how good this is gonna smell? And the reason I'm doing this, by the way, pot stickers, vegetables, that's the sauce. I was gonna do something with cream of soup. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need this, need this. See if I get eaten by bugs. <laughs> Why am I blocking that? <sighs> hey look, it's what Zeo's' life looks like. Boxes. Endless boxes. It rained today, so let's see if I... Nice. Whip that open. Oh, shut that off, because I always forget to shut one off. Oh, shit. Okay, now it's not blow up. Now nothing is hotter than this burner, so we're gonna get these things sizzling real early. This pan will rust. You have to understand that. These are these are just like cast iron. If you get them wet before they're seasoned, they'll rust. If you scratch them up, and then you have to season them again. But, they don't break. They distribute heat just as well. And they're cheaper. Well, they can be cheaper. This one was still like 45 bucks. So much heat. And we're, our job is to rub this around the entire surface. Not the bottom, obviously, but the top. When we bring this back into the kitchen, it should be much, and this is 15 minutes of this, by the way. I'm gonna take it down to a less stupid level. There is good. Sorry if you can't see. I promise I'll be doing this. Oh, look at that salt and potato skins. God, that smells good. Rub it around, get it all over the place. Hot oil splashing on me. All right, I'm not gonna film this for 15 minutes. I'll see you in 13 minutes. Are you ready to do something disgusting? That's the least appealing looking thing ever. Pour it in here. I'm counting that as discarded. Shut that off. Shut this off. Now what we have to do is, it's, it doesn't say wait, but I'm gonna assume wait. We basically clear this out, clean this out. Look at that. Remember that gunmetal gray we had? It's not that anymore. I'm gonna wipe this out in about seven hours when it cools down. And then I'm gonna spray a little more oil on it and then we're gonna cook in it tonight. What is happening in this? Are you melting the plastic? Okay, put that in a little puddle of water. Um, back to the kitchen. Put a paper towel roll in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? It's the former. All right, damn it. You get to watch me get no paper towels down. Oh God. Oh God, no! 
Okay. Deal with that now. Off camera. It was so perfect. It was so perfect. Chewbacca, don't eat this. So I've dripped a little bit of the oil, the peanut oil, back into it, just because F my sister, she could watch that shit. I always do bottom, because it's the proper goddamn way to do it. So you can pull and then pull across, because down you end up just the whole thing falls into the sink. Just, we'll get to that when we get to the toilet paper. So I'm going to continue rubbing. It hasn't really cooled off at all. Pretty sure I could just cook in this, in the sink. Oh yeah. Clean it out. There's a couple spots where I think it could have been seasoned more. Right there. That won't matter because we're about to cook in this in a second anyway. Try to get the salt off the edges. I want to see what the bottom looks like. I haven't checked yet. Hot. Oh yeah. It's like ricer exhaust over here. Now, I just made this brand new pan look like it's from like 1986 and maybe it was in a Denny's. Perfect. Because once it's seasoned, and that is fucking seasoned, now an egg, a fried egg will just slide in that. I've seen it done. I've seen it done. I didn't believe it, but I've seen it done. All, right, all the salt can go. Now, if you'd like to watch me cook the pot stickers, Add potatoes to the pasta? I feel like I need to add the potatoes. They sacrificed their skins for this. So, this video is ending. You've, you've watched how you do that. A little bit of oil, make sure all the salt's out of it. Let it cool, finished. And if you'd like to watch me finish this meal, you gotta wait about two months, but it's gonna be on the cooking channel, which will be linked in the description. And support on the cooking Patreon, there's a completely different Patreon for that, that my sister runs. And she's probably doing all sorts of human trafficking with the monies. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, you can't say it'll, it'll be beaten. All right. Yeah, it holds heat. That holds heat as good as cast iron. See you on the other channel.